Hello everybody and welcome to the Lotus Fire Show. My name is Pyrus Manaberson. We are live today with the Alliance Alive. Uh, apparently no signal, but that's okay. I think that'll get fixed when I actually click on the thing. No, I didn't even need to click on it. Look at that. Uh, hi, Numi, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember if we saved properly. Worst case, we could just reset the game and load from. Uh... I mean, we did this, right? I think we did, but we didn't save after? Huh. Weird, I swear, I know we fought this fight, didn't we? Alright, whatever. Uh, here we go again. Do this. Do that. Do bad blood as well. Strength down good. Bad blood again. Looks like Vivian needs a bit of healing. Blocking that blood. We're doing great. Shiki needs a heal. See, I know he's going to do something silly soon, so we got to be careful. Oh, that was easy. I have, in fact, made it quite far. Chapter 28. So 12 chapters left. Uh, one Aether Gear. No boat. No stop. Yeah, we did this. They explained it to us yesterday. I feel like I should have saved, but for some reason I didn't. World's our oyster. He makes a comment about oysters being in the sea and did not make it... <laughs> To be fair, I was quite tired by the end of last stream, so I'm not surprised I'm confused. Yeah, we even tried flight out, so what happened? Did we die? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I want to say good. Got coffee. I'm streaming at a weird time, but that's because I got something later. My kids' school's hosting a barbecue. Well, you've been calling them wyverns? Uh, dragons and now it's wyverns? How are they? Like? <laughs> yeah. Right, so aerial battles, you can only have three characters. Um. Oh no, they gave us aerial battles before. What is that? Crystal guy. He's just a guy. Yeah, you can't use your sword. Can you see commands here? That's good. Uh. There we go. We're gonna live. We got it. We got it. Good. Stat increases. We love it. Yeah. They don't know I'm a level 95 Dark Knight and 14. <laughs> Just sitting in the corner. Real sad, like. Okay, my problem is I don't have any captains anymore. I, I can't make any... I have two build points that I can't build on because I don't have any, like, guild masters. Ah! 
Oh, I think I remember what happened. <laughs> This guy happened. Yup, it was definitely this exact fight that got us killed last time. <laughs> Here we go. And I was like, I could probably beat this if I tried hard enough. Uh, it didn't go so great. Like, these guys just busted. Alright, anybody need healing? You do. Not you. You. He'll be fine, just take a nap. He's fine, he's fine. We got one of them Skellicrons gone. Two of these Skellicrons gone. Now the big guy is the problem, but we're gonna be fine with that, I think. Uh, oh, we did not get two of the Skellicrons gone. Sorry. Oh, I feel like you've taken more hits. Sleep magic is annoying. Sweet, ignition's fine because she can do the thing. It's that I want Azura to wake up. There you go. Okay. That's not happening. Hey, Mega hit. supposed to have that too, go get a little. I don't remember you having it though. So it has way more power and no secondary effect. You hadn't learned that yet? Wow, okay. We died a lot of times in the last couple of fights. Oh, dude, they just wiped us? Oh, dude, I don't like that. Uh, oh, Azura's up! Hello. Okay, restoration sigil on you. Another sorcery bullet rain, please. Ignis. Stun will be gone. I need you to res yourself, like to not die. We were doing damage. Zero kind of sucks. Wake up. Right. Oh, man. oh no. One more try. One more try. Okay. He does have surgery. Okay. One of them did a uh, sleep spell, so that's good. Um, looks like we're okay for now. I still want Mega Hit, preferably. No, no, not this time. <laughs> uh, dang, I put Azura to sleep. That's kind of like the worst one, eh? 
She's the one who gets to use. Uh, healing magic? But he's got medicine, so let's give something to Sheik. Maybe Ignace, actually, because Sheik is okay. He's not dying yet. Didn't wake him up. <laughs> I love them putting a guy to sleep and then waking him up in the same turn. Skeletons, they keep doing this stinking sleep stuff, and that's the problem. That's what's causing us the match. Like, if our entire party was alive, we wouldn't have this much problem. That being said, I'm sure there's a way to, like, wake characters up. Uh, we're gonna give up, and we're gonna reload the quick save, because we just saved, so I don't have to, like, sit through that, you know? Uh, yeah, that's fine. We've learned our lesson, alright? Oh, hi! Okay, alright. Um. Oh, there's three enemies, huh? It's hard to go back to like lower levels of damage output when you love the big numbers like I do. Like, I just need that dopamine kit, you know? Yeah, I think we're gonna need to, like... The problem is they need to be in combat, and I can't have... So we can't, like, air grind here. Well, let's see if we can find... I completely forget what our freaking objective is. An ill omen, okay. Uh, do we have the story? Okay, we gotta find the ether gear. Hi! Can't. Went wall. Yeah, I just don't. I can't drop hit guilds because I'm out of guild masters. Even if I have no guilds here. I bet that magic user in the sky is actually a pretty good place to try and skyfish. That looks like a whale, but you know. Or a Digimon, if I'm being honest. It's like a Seedramon there, but like shorter. Yeah, I, I I would need to think of who to go recruit, and I. I got lucky last time because I recruited the main. Uh, the character that was like. Princess, that's what, yeah, Yukiha. But she didn't want to do any library guilds, which I'm being told from the links that you sent to me, that um, those are the best guilds to do. I've got enough blacksmith guilds to make it worth it, because, like, right, my broken weapons, which I should probably go fix, actually, now that I think about it. Um, oh, no, I just used Grimoire. Oh, we're fine. This is the Black Dragon's territory. Only those with special qualifications set foot in the sacred place. Okay, cool. Um, not since we got into Snow World. <laughs> that's Dragon's Den, that's cool. The good news is, the second I find enough guild master, I pop open the menu and then just kind of like, oh, we those construction points, right? So we just got three new construction towers in the areas. Let's save some SP, I think, a bit. We're, we're forgetting that we gotta do that every now and then. Do it. Twin Slash. Well, the problem is, I don't think we can leave this area until we, um. Uh. Until 
we beat it, because the dragons, we can't fly, I mean, I, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we can leave, because we took, they took our boat, right? They took our ship. So we can't cross the dark current, no, so we won't be able to leave. My entire party, you may indeed. <clears throat> so we got the five we've been looking at for the last, like, 30 hours. Um, we got these five. Really, we only picked up Shiki since the last time, I think. Okay, let's go with... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh no, who's your favorite character? Actually, I guess the question is... Is it possible that we can rec can we still recruit them? Uh, we'll do an explosive swing. Uh, I don't like the bugs. They they scare me. <laughs> Can? Oh hell yeah! But we need to leave this area first. Weep. Okay, I see a chaos gem. That's fine. Imagine using the ornithopter here. There's a plant there. Hey, there's a village over there. I might be able to learn the location beneath the gear. Let's check it out. I mean, I was going there anyway. Oh, I don't like you. Fiend and not demon. Okay. Uh, oh, he's the tanker? Right, okay. I need to fix that. I think he's not supposed to be a tank. Not one I have Ignace here. Before doing the stuff in Snowland, wow, as soon as we got the boat. Spooky. Missed out on that. <laughs> oh, well, okay. That was an increase, I suppose. Uh, like I stated two seconds ago, I do want to... Yeah, that's got to that's gotta change. Much better. Keep forgetting I have to confirm it. Uh, the stages, the areas in this place, the, the, the world, the, so la 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 la. the villages in this world look a lot like Octopath Traveler art, if I'm being honest. It's very cool. <coughs> wow, what a pretty village. <laughs> it looks quite elegant. I wonder if we'll discover anything here. Let's hope so. Let's try talking to the villagers first. I bet Shiki comes from here. Dracopia Dragon Valley, hell yeah. In this realm, the Star Hierarch's words are absolutely become our way of life. The Holy Knight's hand chosen by the Star Hierarch, the Dragon Guard, follow his will 
and enforce them. We, the general public, are protected by the Dragon Guard, therefore we have a responsibility to follow the rules. Hey, look, look, today's Aurora is super pretty. Today's Aurora, as opposed to, like, yesterday's. With a less blinding light, yeah. <laughs> Long ago there once was a boy who could hear the voice of the stars. He made peace with the dragons, who were once our greatest threats. That's what the legends tell. That boy was the first star hierarch. Compared to him, the current star hierarch isn't impressive at all. He's a mere shadow of the original. Wow, uh, rude, I guess. But also, I met that star hierarch and he sounds like he's scared of the demons, so... I'm so sorry, my husband's always talking rudely of others. He needs to understand that constant badmouthing isn't going to change anything. Good grief. Well... It is gonna change his living, probably, if the Star Hierarch decides to start appearing. What's a youngin' like you doing in such a place? You're not gonna find anything interesting in this rural village, you know? Well, that's just told me that I feel like I should, but... I'm Matilda's mother. I hope my Matilda isn't troubling you at all. Is she doing her job as a Dragon's Guard properly? I'm worried about that clumsy child. Clumsy? That's right, I'm Matilda's father. I raised Matilda. I've trained her since she was so little she'd become an outstanding Dragon Guard. Thanks for the money. Uh... Oh. What do you guys want? My big sis is a dragon guard, you know? If you believe me, my big sis is gonna get you. Sorry that this family's so rowdy. You might think we're getting carried away, but becoming a member of the dragon guard is an extraordinary honor. Honor. I really wish I could see properly. Aurora Marzipan. Nice girl. My, another flirted scrum would be so beautiful. Okay, whatever. When I was younger, I rode a dragon, took on those thunderclouds multiple times. Right, thunderclouds. Apparently, there's an insanely large tower inside that big thundercloud, but there hasn't been anyone who went in the clouds and reached the tower. It's a miracle even coming back alive. I just want to point out that a lot of this is, like, reflecting what we're doing in our home Fabula game. Like, Void's running a Fabula Ultima game on our Discord server, <laughs> and Svalna is exactly, like, is a reigning, a forever reigning city that reminds me of, that is, like, uh, another city in his world. Um... And now we've got the Thundercloud Tower. Not to say that it's a completely unique concept, because obviously I'm pretty sure I've seen both those things in, like, uh, in other media. But <laughs> it's just funny, because I know Void played that beginning half of this game at the very least. No, he played way less. He went up to chapter 15 by the sound of it. But then, one man gallantly appeared with a dragon and magnificently saved everyone from danger. And that man who was in Dragon Guard at the time was me! Alright, sure. Yes, yes, honey, this door serves delicious tea. <clears throat> the pub is only a name. Uh, there's a weapon shop. Okay, cool. But I'm broke. I'm broke. I can't buy any stuff. Oh, man, that makes me sad, because look at all those weapons with the new stuff and the... Bing, bang, boom. <sighs> Guys, I think goodbye, Myers pan. What does it do? I need more cash. We need to go fighting. What's this? Armor? Medicine shop. Medicine. What's up with that pub? Where's the milk? Oh, hey, y'all are just chilling with an order gem. See, I feel like the order and chaosium gems are going to be way more relevant for the end of the game. Uh, I am looking to spend the night because I want to save my game. Actually, I didn't need to spend the night. Nobody's actually hurt. Hell yeah! I'm gonna... Chaos, hell yeah. Ugh, you guys look weird, weirdos. Y'all are all wearing feathers on your head and I'm weird. Take that back. <laughs> Got a huge purple body and have two or three big hordes sticking out of their heads. And they're all scary and shoot bees out of there as well, flying their bat wings, right? Apparently there was an Eshran once every few years with the Star Hierarch. I've never seen him though. We did what we can. Let's rest at the plaza. Uh, our demons don't have horns. Ah, uh, there was nothing too important? What a nice and peaceful village. We're sitting on a sigil. It's strange, though. What is it, Ignace? Uh, the villagers don't seem to be surprised when they see me or Lady Vivian. It's as if they've never seen a demon. There was no sign of fear when they saw me. Uh, come to think of it, I don't see any beast folk here. Good point. I'm telling you, this is a peaceful village. Huh? No, it looks like that isn't the case. What happens if Shiki's not here? Oh, 
It's definitely these guys. Kill them! <clears throat> we just get attacked, I guess. I think we did go and get our SP back. Bow soldier. Blade block, oh great. They still like to skip their turns though, so that's funny. Oh, one guy's dead. Looks like their stats haven't really gone up since the last time we've seen them. We'll do another explosive swing, I think. We don't need Devil Snatch. <laughs> we don't even need a heart block. Anymore. That's what I thought. You don't know. Ah, probably because you could easily recruit Shiki. I don't think anyone went out of their way to not recruit him. Next wave, monsters! Uh, I heard a rumor these guys are strong. Why do they want to attack us all of a sudden? We don't have time to be complaining. Time for you to face me! His name is Mastiff? <laughs> Buddy doesn't look like a dog to me. Okay, you call those soldiers, I call those lizards, but man, I'm not complaining. I just think you don't know what the difference between certain monsters is. Uh, strength is sheepy because he's got the highest HP. Crashes your game. <laughs> Fine, you're right, 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 right. You know what? I'm kind of contradicting myself by saying, you know, why are you not calling these lizards? Because I've argued the exact same thing that these. <laughs> nom nom says block block. Okay. Lizards can identify as soldiers if they want. Oh, okay, that's not the issue. Okay. <laughs> you're right, you're right, my bad, my bad. <laughs> that's totally what I was saying. Oh, this is exhilarating? You know what else is exhilarating? Not dying. Hold up, hang on, go back to his I just realized he's got 28 HP. <laughs> I was like, why is he the only one who's ignited? He, th the reason is because he's about to die. Oh, poison. Lovely. close. Sounds like they were targeting us. It seems like something's going on. Let's return to Eshturm for now. Getting a bad feeling about this. Yeah, the, the Star Hierarch is uh, screwing, screwing us. I'm pretty sure that's it. He is boning us. We are getting boned. Probably how we're gonna get our boat back. We're gonna be like, hold on a second! You were lying to us this entire time? There's a little shadow thing that I get to see when I come in. That's what I wanna see here. It Is that another. Red Dragon territory. All right, I'm kind of confused about that, but I do like that idea. It's just withholding the truth. He's telling us, we can't help you. 
you're ruining the thundercloud. And then I'm like, hold on, but have you considered that maybe demons? And he's like, nah, demons fine. Or he didn't say that actually. <laughs> it's really easy to find the. Oh, I thought that was a monster. Our clan is not allowed to leave because of our ancient contract with humans. Ah, okay. So we can't do that if we have no boat. Interesting. Where's Eshtern? It'll be this red city. The humans are so chill, dude. Some of them are. I think the Council of Eight might have some problems, but... Thunderworm? Thunders you hit in the ground, buddy. I see that's a dragon's town, so we're actually going to this one. Right, blue equals town. Duh. Look at this place. Hey, look! Those, they are dragon guards, are they? They're the demon army that showed up at Yukiha's palace. Uh, place. Whoops. Ah, uh, here they come. Idiots like that are always causing trouble. Who the hell are you? You're with the guys who raided the village, aren't you? What kind of moron would answer that? You're an idiot. All of you guys are freaking idiots. You got a big mouth, bunny bastard. We're gonna beat the crap out of you. Hey, you guys are gonna die real soon anyway, so I guess I'll tell you. We're the elite squad under the direct command of Demon Lord Rouge. That's right, I'm called Dragoon Rex. Oh, the Dragoon's okay. And I'm Dragoon Yucatan. Yucatan? This guy's played Persona 3. Also, Dragoon Napolitan. Okay, so Rex... Ice Cream... Cotton? Funny a dog and a pig, huh? Well, uh, thanks for answering our question. Rouge the demon that was hanging out with Gross in that ridiculous outfit. Nice. You must have put these people up to this. You should be grateful that I've been generous enough to tell you who I am, but I also gotta say that you can't go through. This is the end of the road for you guys. What if we just go through anyway? Go ahead, just try it. But you'll never get past us! <clears throat> Reigniting the Dragon Wars. I would just like to point out that one of these dragons looks a lot healthier than the others. Cute. <laughs> you know what's not cute? What what else is cute? You guys buffed yourselves only to die real real fast. Oh crap, I think I just lost somebody. Double ignites. And I'm almost out of SP. Oh, 353, let's go. 43, actually. But... Oh, it's because he's got points in spear fighting. Okay. You either do spell casting or spear fighting up on the dragon. It's gotcha. <laughs> Just like Genus. <laughs> now, let's hurry to Easter. Eshtern. Eshtern? Oh, hang on, that guy's aggro. How do I get to Asher? Oh, okay. Cool. What was that? I don't know, a group of demons suddenly showed up. Demons haven't come here in years. Regardless, we must reach the star hierarch. We're coming too. Of course. <coughs> Oh yeah, he wants the sword. Lord Star Hierarch! Restrain yourself, Dragon God. But... Why do you commit such barbarism? Our loyalty must be resolute. <laughs> Indeed. Stylin'. The society you've created is very much like our own. Then... But the humans are lawless, other than the ones in this realm, that is. Thus, a need has arisen for this. Whoa, that's not a real person. Okay, no, I thought he just fell apart. <laughs> Lord Star Hierarch. A uh, word I can't say on stream. <laughs> and there they are, those who would defy the rule of law. 
babble as you like, but your life ends here. Sorry, but I don't have time to play with you. Homie said I'm teleporting. Oh dear, he escaped using magic. Yeah, I thought like he just fell apart like... Bloop. Vivian, couldn't you stop him somehow? Uh, I don't think I would have been fast enough. Lord Star Hierarch. Which has happened. We tried to be loyal to the demons. We created a lawful society and thought that they acknowledged our worth. Yes, the state of this realm does rather resemble demonic thinking. But something seems to have changed. There is only one place they would go now. Ah, do you, know, do you have a lead on where they are? They would go to the place that burns with the most power in this realm. The Rainbow Pillar, an etherac that towers at the heart of the thunder clouds. He stole the Holy Sword needed to enter the tower. An ordinary wielder cannot bring out the Holy Sword's full power, but a sorcerer of his strength might be able to do so.
Yeah, I also checked. Looks like it was muted up until like 30 seconds ago. So that's really weird. Um, unpleasant to be very specific. I wonder if that was like a connection issue. No, it was still live too. Like, okay. Mm, really weird. Um, I assume that's something on my end. It can't be anything else. Thanks for the heads up, Mumi. Because, uh, <laughs> like... My friend's stream was fine. Your stream is gonna be fine, I assume. Everything was going through like here. Uh, stream element says everything was going through here. But like, even when I booted up my phone, it's like, ah, I blamed the demon's mood. Well then, time to go. Maybe, maybe I got hit with like a copyright thing because like Twitch does that sometimes. It'll just mute it post video though. That's what's kind of odd. What was that rumbling just now? Most likely, it's Rouge's sorcery. I think it's safe to say that he opened the entrance to the Rainbow Pillar. <coughs> that was the wrong voice. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's bad news. Let's hurry and catch him while we can. Still no boat. Uh, I'm guessing that big circle in the middle of the map is gonna be it. As long as it is over, I wonder how it's gonna be like on like the. Uh, the VOD afterwards, I'm gonna have to check that. But yeah, sometimes it's like, oh, you got music that's in the uh, algorithm as copyright? Mute the entire stream. Ah, could that be the entrance? All right then, let's charge in. I mean, we don't have a choice, do we? Oh, mm, hang on. <laughs> so it was an ambush. <clears throat> We'll never catch up the Rouge if we're stuck fighting these guys. Matilda! Just leave this to us. You guys go after Rouge. But there's too many of them. Don't worry, we won't go down easily. Now go now. Uh, now go now while you still have the chance. Thanks, I owe you. We can't waste time on cannon fodder. Let's just cut our way through. Alright, you heard the game. You heard the man. I have no idea where I'm going though. This is, uh, maybe what a, uh, the inside of a thundercloud might look like, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got dead ends and stuff too. I can't just go forward. Spooky. I guess follow the crystals, probably, come to think of it. Light over there, so. Yeah, oh, it's giving Sonic Riders for some reason, like the Babylon Gardens final stage uh, before final stage. Yeah, before final stage. Okay, <laughs> because there's a boss fight. What the hell? Okay, I see. We're just kind of going around in a swirl. Is that it? Yep. Oh, maybe that's the rainbow pillar? Well, it's got rainbow on it. There's no doubt about it. Let's go. We get hit by something on the way. I guess the trick was to find the... Follow the... The, the crystals? Yeah, I can see that. Even following the right-hand rule might not have helped. I feel like the map wasn't very helpful. They're sleeping. Whoa, this tower's humongous. The entire tower is an ether act. That's pretty wild. Might have worked the wyverns a little too hard. They're just sleeping standing up. They really kept it up through those thunder clouds. If anything, I'm surprised they were able to take us all the way here. Thanks for all your hard work, wyverns. Please relax and get some rest. Well then, let's get going. Rouge should be up above. Let's do this. We've already beaten Rouge. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a harder fight or an easier fight because of the fact that he's got that fancy sword. Oh, we're just straight up getting tossed. No, okay. Lord Rouge! What's up, Chuck? What's the matter? There are reports of intruders here. It must be those apes. Gather all the remaining Dragoon squaws and engage them. <clears throat> Sir, we'll wipe them out, even if it means giving up our lives. 
the squads will most likely be wiped out, but that's inevitable. I can't let those filthy apes get their hands on the wave tower and the holy sword. Using the power of the ether gear, I'll finish them with a off with my own hands. I don't know what that sound was. Did you eat the ether gear? Are you gonna transform? That'd be cool. Huh, so we have to climb. Oh no! Oh wait. Please tell me the lightning strikes will not hit us. Oh, we're fine for the rest for now. Oh, for sure we're gonna get hit by freaking lightning bolts, aren't we? I've played Final Fantasy X. What is this? Okay. I mean, cool. Those birds are like uninterested in those. There we go. Yeah, why are you shining like that? I don't like it. <clears throat> oh yeah. Get that insta kill. She got a lot of SP. I'm not complaining about that at all. Wow. Oh, that should be mega hits. No, he's not. Okay. There's like only two abilities he doesn't know yet that the other guy knows. So I'm like, what's coming up? I really wish we could get more than one SP per turn, though. I don't know how we'll Maybe one of the abilities. We have to look at our talent list again. I mean, that's actually really good. So Vivian has battle prep plus, let's go. Ignition tube and concepts. Maybe I should have checked the rest of the team. Oh, look at that, we're already at the top. This is not the top. Holy crap, why did you do this? Why is it so big? <laughs> what was the idea here? I'm scared. Yucatan. Also a Dragoon Napolitan. Ah, so it's you guys, huh? This is for Lord Rex! Brace yourselves. They have cool helmets. I wish I had a helmet like that. Alright, so what you're telling me is you are actually straight up, like, enemies with names and stuff, so I gotta be careful. I'll give Mega Hit Boy over here an attack. I got them attacking the wrong, like, different enemies. Ooh. Nope, they hit the same guy. That was almost a joke. When do I get a Buster Sword? Every single beast person, beast man has one. I want one. Oh, forgive me, Lord Rouge. Lord Rex. Alright, let's keep moving. Still have a long way to go. That's not very menacing. Hello. Okay, that's a lot of you guys. I'm not a fan. Oh man, that really is a lot of you guys. Hold up. Is the larva? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to do something here, game. And I'm not pressing any of the right buttons. Okay. So jewel, jewel fly. That's a larva. Jewel flies are those guys, and then we got Mist Leader up front. So I feel like Mist Leader needs to go first. Not to mention, I kind of want to get the decadence guy out of here. Uh, Brain Crush. Do that. Crystal 
poison. Oof. Oh no, they have vampire powers. I don't like it. Good, he's dead. Uh, HP is looking a little rough when it comes to certain characters, so we're gonna do a restoration spell on Ignace. Get this guy, I don't like him at all. Let the game scan your Steam account for M&E Final Fantasy 7. That'd be funny. That would've been so good. If only it was a Square Enix game. Uh, I'm gonna go for a bad blood at this point. Die already, what are you doing? There we go, thank you! Actually, she's fine. She will survive. I will go down to double source off you guys. I thought that guy was gonna die. They give you the Buster Sword, and then when you finish the game and you do New Game Plus, they're like, here, have a Buster Sword uh, from the Advent Children version. With better stats. That would have been so cool. I agree. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I think we've seen one of those before, but Sans Cigar. Okay, I don't like these guys because they do sleep magic. I love that she keeps leveling that ability up, but like, it doesn't do anything when you level it up, does it? I got two weather reports. That was a really good staff for the other character. Is it any good now? Can I replace the surveyor staff with it? Weather report. It's a little better. Really wish I had better shields, to be honest. He's been stuck with that friggin... Oh hey, we do have a Buster Sword! Never mind. <laughs> Can I actually have any video swords? It's kinda trash, but... Hello? How are you doing? Oh, I didn't die from that, that's cool. Oh yeah, what? Getting hit by lightning outside of combat wouldn't do much, would it? What's up, homie? Oh yeah. Sounds like an excuse to go to the local game store. 
not the local game store, but the local the store that sells games that is local. <laughs> well, we could just go hunting a rabbit or something. I just see you in the background, like, tugging on the couch. It's just funny. It's simply humorous. Like my bone. Dodge lightning 1,000 times to get Vivian's weapon. Oh, that fell over? Dang. What happened? Why is this vibrating? Whoa, a channel that starts with P? Oh, pro. <laughs> okay. Nothing. <laughs> is that a thing, actually, in Final Fantasy X? I feel like there is something you do when you dodge lightning a bunch of times. I just don't remember if it's like a weapon or if it's just a, tre uh, a trophy on the HD version. All I know is that it was one of the most inconsistent mechanics. The dog's like, why is the couch that I am not on moving? The bug. Ah! Boy, how? Oh, what is that? Is that supposed to be the Dryad model? But I'm so confused by that sock thing you're... Okay. Whatever you say. See, we get the Buster Sword. We got Cross Slash on another weapon. Oh, there's a fourth enemy. There was a fourth enemy. <laughs> this is on the was now. Uh, I think we're going to do a restoration sigil on Ignace so that he doesn't just drop dead during the next turn. Hmm, vital sap, huh? Uh, there's like seven boxes of Carpe Diem. <laughs> I don't think I'll have time. Yeah, we got a sneak attack somehow! That last one. <laughs> How about we don't do that for no reason? Um, you want to start using that spear a little more? Almost at a point where we can survive a fight like Grosso Radon's attack that does 300 plus damage. With anybody but. Okay, so that'll be Rex and uh, some Rando. I'm assuming those are gonna be Dragon type too.
Uh, more of these goons. There you are. You guys must be idiots to get in the way. We will eliminate you, as ordered by Lord Rouge. I've heard enough. Let's just get to it already. That's just what I was thinking. It's not Rex, it's Shrike. GG. Oh no. Whoa. We're fighting giant dodo birds! Skeleton? I know this game's smoking. That ain't no skeleton. It's got... They just said, what's the wrongest thing we can call this monster? Really just break him out of it. No, you did not. I lied. I wish I had a restore spell. That'd be pretty cool. Had to be cheeky that they confused too. Bah. Yeah, power anklets. Uh, so strong. How the heck did we lose? When it comes to strength, we're all actually almost equal. The only reason we defeated you is because our desire to win was slightly stronger than yours. That feels like something Gene would not say, due to his, like, consistent attitude being <laughs> almost painfully logical, but I will forgive him for it, I suppose. Up the strength, lower to alarm. You're not a tank. Oh, yeah, it's mostly because you commented on it earlier. <laughs> I was like, dang, it's true, I do. Like, I was thinking as you, as I was saying that, like, line with the, the voice, I was like, ah, I guess not all the, I, I keep using the same voice for the, oh. I keep using the same voice for the Beast Folk. Maybe I should change. And then you typed it out, I was like, yep, it's not just me then. <laughs> so, uh, and then accidentally, uh, completely irrelevant to what what was said there? I uh, when they showed, I think it was Stir, no Rex. I was like, oh, he do, he looks like he's got a different voice. But li a lot of them looks like birds or rats, and I'm like, that's the voice I attribute to them. It's just a thing. I know I have items I can use. Right? That could probably give us a bit more uh, SP, maybe. Do I have anything I can recover SP? Or whatever they're called, right? I guess not. Okay. There's someone here. <sighs> what a name. Get a load of these guys. That means everyone before us got defeated. Move out of our way. <laughs> Can you believe this, Brett? Interesting. You're not getting through, not unless you beat us. Okay, well, ooh, they got armadillos. I think? I'm not quite sure on the anatomy there. Um, it looks like it'd be an armadillo. Uh, I'm gonna save this for a little bit, I think. I love the zero damage, but it's to be expected, I suppose. Alright, Nice is taking a bit of a beating already. Gotta remember that the more we use them, the more we fight, the more we take out enemies, the more we deal damage, the less damage we take, too. Oh, what is that? I did not like any of that. Agility down, gotcha. Still, they skip turns, truly. Ignatian. He's doing 
fine now. Just because I want to do that one other attack right there. We're also doing just fine. No one's really. Cool. She's gonna run out of SP real soon. Oh no, he used synchro strike. Yeah. Ready stance. Okay. So they both they both not learned a new like counter ability. Cheeky's dying a little bit. Every time I say executed like the League of Legends lady, I'm always, I, I am thrown back mentally to uh, Darkest Dungeon, where instead of saying executed like that, he goes executed with impunity. Because the narrator has the hardest voice actor in the world. And I don't remember his name, or if I ever knew it, but that guy knows what he was doing. Ah, they actually beat us. Forgive us, Lord Rouge! If you're gonna get in our way, then we won't hold back. Can I get a stinking heal though? No? Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. But I can save. See, that's usually indicative of uh, a boss upcoming, and I'm out of SP all over. I'm speedless. Please don't kill me. Out of the way, friend. Fourth floor outer wall. See, I feel like there's gonna be seven floors given that it's supposed to be a rainbow pillar, right? Well, it's gonna give us a chance to get our, our SP back. I saw a couple hundreds go up there. Um. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what you're gonna do with that extra SP, buddy, but uh, sure. Hello? Go. Okay, keep going, and that's the top of this part. Cool. That is a solo, dude. Hmm. Interesting. It's an enemy. Please stand back. Uh, please forgive me. I'm being forced to do this under Lord Rouge's orders. I really don't want to fight you. There's no need to fight if he really doesn't want to hurt us. Let's just leave him alone. 
Just kidding. Uh. If you intended to attack by surprise, you should have done a better job. Uh, get out of here, you guys. Oh, get out here, you guys. Is the beast folk part of the fight? Yeah. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. He's nameless. I don't like these guys because we already established that some of them can do the sleep magic, so we're gonna try and get ahead of that. No, I died for this guy. Not attacking anybody. You love to see it. HP is okay for now. <laughs> Liar! It's true! He tricked us! Better block? Guard crush. Oh yeah, he had that in one of the failed fights. Let's hurry forth. Yes, let's. Looks like we finally clapped. <laughs> what? Well, it's not the longest dungeon, but it's getting pretty long. Ah, okay. right. You know, I should have known it's about four. Yeah, four. It's seven. I said it myself. Should be around seven, given the rainbow motif we're going for here, so. Oh. Okay. Hello. Little demon thing. L little demon thing, what do we got? <laughs> Literally just a little demon thing, huh? You have to attack twice, I don't like that. I know you're gonna die, come on. <laughs> Why is it so tanky? Why is it so tanky? I wish we could see how much HP. You're gonna die soon, right? Right, she also died during the last fight that gave her that, so. Oh, we're still good. That was long. That was a long mob fight. It doesn't even reduce our max HP or anything. It's kind of funny. There we go. Another one. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. What chapter are we on? 32? Yep. 33 is probably going to be the boss fight. I don't know if that's how that works. So you made it all the way here. This must mean you took up down the Dragoon Squad. That's right. We beat them all up. If you don't want to end up like those guys, you better get out of our way. That's not going to happen. I intend to fight for Lord Rouge, even if I'm the last one standing. Sheesh, all you keep saying that. Why the hell are you guys like this? We have our own principles that we believe in. I don't need to explain. I don't get you at all. I could say the same of you. Looks like we'll have to fight after all. That's right. Here I come.
Oh, he's got the big bows. Bad news is, we actually prepped for this one, so... Restoration Ignace, just in case. And we can now use Devil Snatch, just because. No, I want him as much alive as possible. Let's take out the big guys first. Because he's the part where they get to work their AoEs off of him, so. Uh. No, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think he's making it out of this turn alive. Wow, he did. Impressive. Barely. Looks like I win. Sorry, but I'm gonna pass through. I can't even move, so we will just sacrificial pawn. I'm sure Lord Rouge has foreseen all this. I have no regrets. Why do you keep a him when you already know that? I don't really get it. Forgive me, Lord Rouge. We have all failed. I, I don't understand also how he could have put that together just by the fact that I got beat, but... I could give the Lost Staff, but I'd rather give her... something else... that can give her, like... Yeah, that, that feels better to me. It's just a stronger weapon. Whereas now I could probably give her, like... I could give her the weather report. No, I could give her the lost staff, because that's sorcery-based. Yeah, that's already better. Alright, I got a little friend here, and now... Woo! Woo! I kind of want to recover Shiki's HP. Double sword slash. confused by like how they number us to tell us which order we go in but when we pick a character to heal or something it's based on the position on the map it's an interesting little dichotomy and how they chose to do that bit of loot. another lightning rock okay so it looks like we'll only be getting lightning rock from that keep going up <laughs> the speed and the sound that that makes reminds me of the, the 
Star Wars action theme. Like, I don't remember the name of the song, but I sang it earlier. It's That's why I sing it every time I hear that. I'm like, I, I have to really ref reject the urge to do so, to resist it because of how, like, paced it is and how close it sounds to the... Attack level up, that's what we want to see, baby! Tree, tree HP up, okay. Uh, that's not quite the top yet. That's the top, alright, cool. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> There's nothing here, I don't like it. Oh, I can finally see the top! <laughs> I'm exhausted. Alright, we're almost there. Let's climb until we reach the top. I wonder if Matilda and everyone are safe. All we can do is have some faith in them and keep going. Let's make sure we do whatever we can on our end. That's a lot of dragons! Oh, it's just a straight up war, okay. Okay! Glory to the Dragon God! Unverse! Good for us. Good for them. We don't need to, I mean, we could skip it, but we don't need to sit through that again. That's gonna change us, there we go. And there she is, hello, friend. Oh, but I can't do what I want. Can't get my heels that I want. Okay, up we go. Thanks for moving out of the way. Mighty kind of you. I haven't gotten struck by lightning on this run <laughs> just yet. Oh, well, that's a lot of. Ooh. You should be up ahead. Okay. Why well, ask me to proceed forward and then not? Okay. Strange. Okay, it's just, this is a straight run, no other path will lead you there. Gotcha. Ether Gear Squad destruction thing, I don't remember what I'm saying, don't worry about it. What's he doing to the Ether Gear? That's my question. He got buffed last time. We got you cornered, Rouge! Cornered? Aren't you making some mistake? The likes of you cornering me? <laughs> You've got a poor sense of humor. Really? Then why'd you come all this way? I doubt that you're here to protect the ether gear. Actually, this tower seems pretty special. <laughs> you're quite perceptive, but it's still futile. All of you. You and you, ether gear. You're all going to die here. Right? Is he gonna transform? Or straight? <laughs> On Pride Month? I already know we're gonna give Shiki a buff, even though Shiki's the only one who died last couple times. That was Noisy Blade, that's not what I wanted to do. You know he's gonna alone. Magic, I don't like that. Well, I guess that was a 
crit? Shiki's dead, okay. I have to assume that means he doesn't get the buff anymore, yeah. La Danse Macabre. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. 2,000 damage is also a lot. Okay. Guys, berserk. These demon lads are making my life very hard. Sigil on Galil. Let's do a sorcery bullet rain. Three fifty nine. Let's go. Oh, that's gonna take out Shiki. Yeah. Couple of hundred of them. Lying on my desk. It was there. Oh, not today. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> we did it. We won. See, that was nowhere near gross over dawn levels. I can't die in a place like this. Killed by a bunch of monkey. An excess spell? Oh my, I managed to catch him this time. <laughs> nice, Vivian. I'm not saying that. Oh, he just straight died. Get rid of that thundercloud, I guess, eh? Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, bruh. Of course I'm gonna save my game. I was right. Chapter 33 was the final Ether Gear boss fight. That's it. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna save again. Get him. Apex. Shiny. That's the star I rock, I guess. Eh? I love the two, like, extremes of, like, these guys live in harmony with the demon sword, kinda, and then the other guys are completely fighting them, and then we. Uh, right, that happened after you get to the main stuff. I'm glad you've returned safely. <laughs> what? Allow me to thank you once more for saving this realm from the threat of demon attack, and I apologize for assisting the demons in taking your Ark from you. It's fine. Star Herak, we brought back the Holy Sword that Rouge stole from you. The tower seal has been undone, so the sword is meaningless in my possession. Please accept it as your reward. Wow, thank you! Lily Merli Marlene. More importantly, geez, geez, not geez. 
Uh, I mean, Lord Star Hyrek. Uh, there's a question I want to ask you. Speak your mind. Getting right to the topic of the Rainbow Pillar, just what exactly was that tower? It didn't seem like Ruse was here to stop us from destroying the Aether Gear. Rather, it felt like he was trying to stop us from acqu acquiring the tower itself. I have a general idea of what the demons want with the Rainbow Pillar. I can't speak. Cool. Uh, so you know something? Yes, however, it requires an explanation about Aether Axe and Signomancy came to be. History lesson! Oh, Signomancy, that makes me curious. I too find that incredibly extremely intriguing. How much do you know about Etheracts? They're handy gadgets that let anyone use Sigmancy, uh, isn't that right? No. The Etheracts are not tools of convenience that allow one to create something from nothing. Huh? They aren't? It is not the Etheracts that allow us to use our arts, but rather the energy that forms its source. Long ago, humanity apparently called this energy Ether, which makes sense. Yeah. Etheracts are merely devices that accumulate Ether. However, the ether axe that humans possess cannot gather enough ether to activate spells. Thus, the rainbow pillar were constructed to gather massive quantities of ether and project it over the surface. Rather, a thousand years ago, in the time of the first star hierarch, that tower was known as the wave tower. I see, the wave tower served as an antenna to create an environment in which the arts could be used. I never even considered why we could use Sigmas to begin with. But the wave tower? Why don't we call it that anymore? It was seized by the demons in the past. No one living in this era knows that it was originally built by humans. In the Human Demon War's final days, my ancestor, the first Star Hierarch, received an offer from the demons. When the Great Barrier is activated, half of the world will die, but we will spare your citizens if you hand over the Wave Tower to us. Yikes! The first Star Hierarch prioritized the citizen's safe citizen safety above all else, and he accepted to deal without hesitation. We pres preserved our civilization even after the Great Barrier was erected. The demons rebuilt part of the Wave's tower structure. However, due to circumstances unknown, the demons deemed the Wave Tower unnecessary, and so the first Star Hierarch took the opportunity to seal the tower with the Holy Sword, Lily Marlene. So the tower appears to be of demonic design because it was modified by demons. I cannot bring myself to accept the story, for a demon to seize human un possessions is positively undemonic. I agree. Why did the demons take the tower? Perhaps the desire of the Wave Tower's ability to collect ether. Even after being modified, the tower's functionality is still intact. Rouge likely wished to stop you from discovering their agenda. I can't help but wonder how the demons modified the Wave Tower. Well, if Rouge is connected to these demons, then it isn't outside the realm of possibility. Yes, yet there have been many anomalies occurring on the surface due to the Dark Current. Current? If they are related to the seizure of the Wave Tower in the past, they would all be part of a thousand-year-old plan. That makes sense, though. A, a thousand years? Who would plot something over such a crazy length of time, and for what reason? The demon who sees the tower is the most suspicious. Star Hyrak, do you know anything about that individual? Unfortunately, even I am not privy to their identity. I bet you they look a little bit like this guy right over Sigma's face. It happened a thousand years ago, so that would make sense. Still, you've told us plenty about Aetherax and Signomancy. Yeah, for now we're, we've destroyed five Aether Gears, all according to plan. Let's get back to Brionac and come up with our next move. Thank you for your help, Lord Star Hierarch. Mm, let us know if we, we can ever render your aid. We will surely be of use to you. Alright, Numi. We gotta go find our friend. Support us for the Star Hierarchs again. Okay. Trying to recruit some people here. Oh, cool. Recruited? Yep. It's time. Speaking of which, where did Matilda go? Pub, probably? It might be a good idea to go say hi to her. I just gotta figure out where to go. Talk to everybody here. She's alive! Are you continuing your voyage? On that flying ship? Yeah. I have to admit, I'm a little envious. I've lived my entire life thinking that I would spend it fulfilling my duty to the Dragon Guard. I think that's very noble of you. Thank you. I wish you good fortune in your travels. Oh, I can't read. Okay. <laughs> Surfaces are so barbaric, and then she spits on me. 
sure. You can join. Kill that guy, no problem. fully healed so I might as well save the game. Chapter 34. No, nope, still trying to create. Now hold on a moment. We already did that. The story's not that really nothing. Okay. Do I have to find my boat? I guess I think. Oh, there it is. Yay! Woo! It looks like we can fly again for now. Thank goodness, if the Brianak broke, I don't know what we do. So what's next? We've destroyed five of the gears, we're not about to live heavily ever after, are we? Great Barrier has been lifted without issue. I believe we should be free from the extreme climate phenomenon of the past. So we need to find a way to neutralize the dark current next. But madam, that would be... Yes, now it's finally clear to me. Did you figure something out? Okay, I get it, thank you! The original purpose of the Great Barrier erected a thousand years ago was to generate the dark current. Huh? I thought you said that the Great Barrier is supposed to teach humans law and order. Yeah, I remember you said something about helping humans grow. That is the official purpose, but the truth is more sinister. It has turned out to be a gargantuan lie, perpetuated through our histories. To be honest, I can scarcely believe it. But all of our exper experience and knowledge indicates that the Great Barrier was made to create the Dark Currents. I'm left with no choice but to conclude that demons schemed to make this happen. So our early suspicions have been confirmed. But Star Hierarch suggested as much, but if our true enemy is a demon, then that's too much we don't know. Yes, to that end, I propose that Ignace and I return to Demonia to learn the truth. Lies are bound to seams that we can unravel. If we carefully read through the records, I believe we'll find a clue. Will you two be alright? Uh, what if you run into Grosso again? We did defeat Rouge. Murder is one of the greatest violations of demonic law. If the Council discovers us, we won't be able to escape punishment. Oh no. We're well aware of the risks, but our greatest priority is to identify our enemy. We won't be able to reverse the situation on the surface if we don't know who our enemy is. Uh, that's true, but... It will be alright. I promise that we'll come back with new leads. Oh, Vivian, please be careful. Ignace, let us go to Gears Rock once we're ready. We'll use the portal there to return to Demonia. We got the whole shebang. Okay, let's go, uh... Yeah, <laughs> let's go send the people there. Points. Oh, nice. Ultman. Alright, where are we going? Ashen is an autopilot. Boom, 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 boom. To an island. Alright, specifically which one? I'm just gonna start exploring.
I'm thinking not this one. Northeast of Snow Earth. Okay. So let's uh, let's start by discovering this one, I guess. Hi, little dragon dude. You all stinky poo poo. You all weak sauce. Yeah, we're gonna get like that one explosive swing and then they're just all gonna die. Uh, not quite. You found it. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a house. <laughs> I got a bunch of money, I should probably buy stuff too. It's a cave. <laughs> what is this? A monster's buried in there. Is this thing buried? Ugh. Pull it out! There's nothing we can do. Why? I need a shovel. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's a water devil lair. Cave around snow. Okay. So there. Let's discover this big boy. Gonna need so many guild masters. On an island. Right. So we got this. And the setup looks really similar to the last one, so... Hello? What peculiar birds? I bet you're cold! I bet you're cold! I mean, yeah, sure. Penguins? Oh, my dear husband, my son Cape, where have they gone? As long as they didn't get trapped in the water devil, then it should be fine, but... Good for you. Marbled rockfish. Good for you. Um. Now, what's this all about? I could. I guess we're gonna be <laughs> recruiting the penguin. Fat greenling. Thanks. So I guess we're supposed to find th the husband and... Where are you on the... I just wanna real quick check... Aha! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a penguin on the Alliance Alive, like, title screen thing. Okay, so we have to go find them, and they stated... Possible presence at... 
inside Water Devil Den. Oh no. Well, there's one right here. Level one? Okay, that should be okay. I feel like I've seen Cape. Oh, look at that. Have we been swallowed up? You're on the- you're the guy on the- 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 the icon! Oh! Strange, I only expected to find water devils in this place. It's this weird creature. Ah, it's so cute! It's a penguin. And so what in the world are you, and what are you doing here? I am Robins of the Penguins. My son is lost to me. He was sucked into the water devil den by a whirlpool. I've come to rescue him, but I've lost my way. Oh my, it seems like you're in quite some trouble. Help him. <laughs> but you're in trouble, right? We'll lend a hand. Oh, I appreciate the offer. I was just thinking that I could use allies. We'll find your kid. My son should be here somewhere. I'm sorry, but please help me find my child. Okay. So water double dens are mean because we don't heal very well. Uh, what's Robin's abilities? Unarmed? Okay. He can do both types of magic? Spooky. Why not? He has the best ability. Let's go. I'm not sure how to navigate these places. I just know that healing is a trouble. You don't heal in between fights here. So we gotta be big careful. Hmm, I see something over there. Ah, that's where you are, my son. Daddy! Everyone, there's something there. Stand back, I'll end this swiftly. Daddy! Prepare yourselves, water devils. Grovel before the wrath of penguin style martial arts del delivered by my mighty flippers. Not penguin style martial arts. The Society of the Sun will live forever. What? Hippocampus drunk dog in grief. Okay. I know Noisy Hoop says one enemy. They don't look like they're very strong. They are not very strong. Oh, do they leave construction points behind? It is done. Daddy! You have my gratitude. Thanks to your efforts, I was able to find my son who was lost to me. I'm glad we could help. We're happy. I completely changed his voice in between the beginning and the... We're happy for you. Well, I must hurry and get my son back home. We'll be off. We live not far from here, so stop by if you have any chance. You'll be welcomed with open flippers. Be careful on your way home. And you as well. Adios, amigos. This area where the water devils were, uh, it has, uh, this area where the water devils were at has some pretty nice terrain. Uh, could we possibly build a guild tower here? Yeah, the land here should be perfect for constructing one. So when we destroy a water devil then, we get a construction point. Huh, interesting. It feels like a bit of a minor, like, prize for actually getting the Water Devil Den done. I'm pretty sure if you get all the Water Devil Den- I just realized his hat is a sturgeon. My friends, you've come! I understand you've traveled far. Come, feast on swordfish sashimi and tell me of the tales of your exploits. 
we shared stories. Hooray! They talked about the situation with demons and humans and all how the state of the world affected their lives. And then the following day. You know I had a pretty good time last night. I'm really grateful about that. I was able to hear so many interesting things and learn so much about all of you. Indeed, I enjoyed myself greatly. Well, with that, we better get going. <laughs> it's... Take care! Bye bye! Wait. He's, there's a character. I'm going with you! Strength, endurance, and agility in one turn? That's whack, dude. You're more than welcome to come with us, but are you certain that's what you want? Yeah, man, the world outside could be a pretty dangerous place. Last night, the talk about the world and our place in it lit a spark in me, a desire to use my strength for good. It's time I answer the call of destiny. This world needs a hero, and I am he. It's decided. I'm going with you whether you want it or not. Hurrah! I'm so glad that you'll be joining us. Eh, I won't stop you if your debt's set on coming. Much is wrong in the world, my beloved. I'm going away for a while. I'm counting on you. Take care of the children I'm gone. Yes, I understand, dearest. Be careful and have a good trip. Daddy! Papa! Father! Don't worry, I'll be back. Sorry to keep you all waiting, let us be off. Wait, are you sure you're just gonna leave him? My wife is a strong penguin. There's no need for tearful goodbyes, we'll be reunited soon enough. <laughs> guess you're right. Alright then, welcome to the team. Yeah, welcome aboard. Uh, what was your name again? Call me Robbins. Oh yeah, Robbins. Glad to have you. No matter what foes we face, you can rely on me to crush them. The lonely demons will grovel before the wrath of penguin-style martial arts, delivered by my mighty flippers. <laughs> oh, I got a guildmaster. And the kids as applicants, I guess. So. What? My wife and children are just going to, going to apply to join the guild? Well, that's just proof of how much my family loves me. Let's see if we can get some more. I guess not. Put those birds to work! Let's go. Naturally, she should apply for the guild next to her own home. Why are you talking? Why, why is this person... Why is apologizing? It's weird. Alright, well... Can we start by building the... Yeah. Uh, let's put a library guild up again. Map sales, nice. Then we would need to go into the arc. Three people. I feel like recon's good because it just gives us like, you know, learning stuff. All right, there we go. Um. We wanted to go to Gears Rock. Yeah, we're gonna go to the inn. I wanna save. Ooh, maybe not Gears Rock. Um, that was chapter 34? I thought we were at 35, I don't know why. Okay, uh, before we go to Gears Rock and do the thing to go back to the teleporter, blah, 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 I want to do some shopping in Ishtern. Because they had some really good weapons and I just got 50,000 monies. Goodness gracious. Yeah, 
it was here. Uh, oh, I also need to actually rest somewhere to get the fixed stuff. Oh, no, it's because there's no... There's no blacksmith to be killed anywhere, right? Skyliner... armor. Oh, that has to go to you. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna sleep where there's a blacksmith guild first. I think I don't I don't know if it's gonna fix it here. It should fix it here. So we're gonna double check. Wrong place. And that's the pub. Where's the? <laughs> We're gonna double check just to make sure, and then we're gonna save, and then we're gonna go some place where there's a blacksmith field if it doesn't work. Yeah, that's the plan. Cool. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, good. Uh, so now we can actually have a proper comparison here. Cool-looking sword. Axe, I mean. Doesn't need it. I had a spear as well. It's cool, but do I need it on that character, though? Fancy bows? I do. There it is. Carrot, I need to upgrade that somewhere. You can't equip any of that. Okay, so that being said, now... No, literally nobody else uses the... Okay. I don't want to give you that, because... If I give it to you, I can't give it to our actual... Tank over here. One of our biggest weaknesses has to have been the fact that we just didn't equip anybody. All right, cool. Stop it! Okay. Wish we could go from dragon to arc immediately. That's not how that goes. anybody here, all things considered. Well, 
Well, if you like her, put her in the guild. Sure. Looks like a no-go from here. Uh, it's not floating. Okay, so he's being nice. Sure. Yeah, he's gonna come with us. Nice, and he's a guild master, very good. T and then this old guy here. Awesome. <laughs> Where did my husband run off to? Over. Thanks, Patches! Cool. <coughs> Ew. Two guild applicants. Blech. Don't drag me into this. Uh huh. Sure. Rock on, buddy. Free, free people just joining. Has to be at least one person here I can recruit. said give me a more intelligent air. I thought maybe Tiggy, but I guess not. Alright, I'll drink. I guess we just have to get ourselves smashed. shower. Lit. That's just goofy to be honest. This is Tiggy's place. Picked up a jumbo apparently. Huh. <laughs> 
Awesome. Send his kid. Alright, that should be it, I think, in this area. Nope, not quite. Now I'll begin searching for the destination portal. What are you doing, Vivian? A demonic lies. Demonia f lies far from the surface. In order to teleport there, we must determine a precise destination. Ah, so that's how that works. Excellent! So the time has finally come for us to <laughs> Robins has like a similar attitude to a character from Pyrus. Not Pyrus, sorry. From Pyre. I'm Pyrus. It's a character from me. No. Uh, from the Super Giants Pyre. Pyre was a really good game, and one of the characters, it's just giving me the same vibes. I don't know if it's similar attitude yet, but like similar vibes of like gung ho -ness, belief in their own ability. The character's name is Sir Gilman, and Ada hates them. And I love them. I have located the proper destination. Uh, I'll be going to transport immediately. Come here, Ignace. Hobbit has the best lives. He's just like... Perfect. Here we go, everyone. Now be careful. Bring back good news. This is not just our house. Manly, we've managed to return safely to Demonia. Do you sense anything, Ignis? Not especially, but compared to the life we spent living here, our time on the surface feels ever so slightly novel. <laughs> How very like you to answer that way. Please, no more strange questions. Once we find the information we need, we'll, we're returning to the surface anyway. That's right. Let's begin looking right away. I gathered these texts while I was researching on the Dark Current. Let's see if we can glean anything new from them. Shelf contains Professor Alstein's research on Arths and Etherax. Uh, given what we've learned from the Sty Hierarch, it might be a good idea to read them. Oh. A new form of energy discovered in the uh, research of dynamic force. There's Ether. Art using the application of ether was successfully developed. However, due to the enormous expertise and labor required to these arts, the technology was difficult to popularize. There's the wave tower. To allow the proliferation of arts, a device to collect the ether in the atmosphere, a wave tower was proposed. The star hierarch approved, and the tower was constructed. Experiments using tools engraved with sigils to concentrate ether em emanating from the tower proved successful. These tools were called ether acts. Manufacturing processes for Etherax were established. Now arts could freely be used by all. Let us pray that Etherax will serve as a beacon of hope for humanity. Humanity has entered an age of prosperity thanks to Etherax. I've even realized my dream of building a flying ship. I thought this was by Professor Alstein. So Tiggy's ancestor? It has been a long time since we entered the age of the Etherax. The latest a research has determined that ether is generated by the sunlight shining down on the surface. At the same time, I've begun to have doubts. Uh-oh. Ether is not an unlimited source of energy. Ether expanded in arts is converted into dark matter. Uh-oh. It is possible that organisms exposed to large amounts of dark matter may exhibit abnormalities and even be deformed. Humans are no exceptions. Oh, is this how demons came to be? Dark matter is purified by sunlight and atmospheric ether, causing it to turn back into ether. Therefore, dark matter does not accumulate in human bodies. Unless you block the sun! Uh-oh! If something were to obscure the sunlight, or a massive amount of ether were to be used at once, disrupting the ether regeneration cycle, it could have deleterious effects on the entire surface, not just humans. And there comes the ether gear. Once the threat of dark matter was highlighted, the World's Nation approved a project to build five ether gears in the locations where sunlight was most intense. These facilities would accelerate the generation of ether from sunlight. Yes, the Ashel Sea. Far from the surface, a vast space known as the Ashel Sea has been discovered. Since it is possible to collect abundant sunlight there, it is a strong candidate for future colonization. Not! Okay. 
this is new. The chief problem facing migration to the Astral Sea is the total absence of atmosphere. Issue will be addressed with the air to la root trees. A plant that can generate a breathable atmosphere for humans using sunlight and water. Air at uh, cultivation has proven difficult. It can only flourish under warm temperatures and high precipitation. Svalna? Environment of Svalna is most suitable. And plans are underway to grow a forest. It's projected to take about 50 years. That's where the dryad was, but... One of the researchers, Blue, has invented an ether act that can draw water from the atmosphere. Deploying it in residential areas should supply habitations with water. Oh, Blue, I think I've heard it before. The demon! Yeah! Portals will be used to travel between the Earth's surface and the Ashel Sea. Since the distances involved are vast, we will need massive portals that can concentrate large uh, quantities of aether. I've tasked Blue, a researcher, with developing and constructing the new portals. Our presence will be noticed if we don't wrap this up soon. Should we stop gathering information and return to the surface? Yep. Cool. So we have to go see Blue. I suppose we'll stop there, then. We couldn't reach the heart of the problem, but I feel that we've learned much about our history. Uh, also, the name Blue sounds rather familiar. Anyway, let's return to the surface for now. Why are you getting detected in your own home? That's what's weird. What is this? Uh, a problem. So you were the ones who caused the portal waves earlier. Who are you? I believe this is our first time meeting face to face. I am Kualsa, chairman of the Council of Eight. Of Eight? What? What's the leader of the council doing here? Don't tell me you're here to capture us. No, I'm here out of mere curiosity. I wanted to see for myself who killed Bader and Rouge and even fended off Grosa. What? You know everything. Now, now, no need to be so tense. I have no intention of executing you here. Why? With whatever our reasons, we killed your comrades. Demonic law demands a harsh penalty for such crimes. From your point of view, we must be heinous criminals. Enough of these pointless questions. Besides, you've noticed it by now, haven't you? The negative energy created by the distortion that I applied to the Great Barrier a millennium ago. Then the dark current is your doing. Unbelievable. What we've seen so far is the world is in a ghastly state, a far cry from the way it was in history. The oceans are split by the Great Barrier, and the distorted ether gears have stirred the climate into chaos. What great the Great Barrier was originally meant to stimulate human growth, but this has all been a pretense, hasn't it? You've exploited the surface for your own interests. Correct. To be precise, I am still exploiting it, but I didn't come here to debate this with you. I came to offer you a trade. A trade. You return to Demonia to discover those responsible for the Dark Current to find a way to purify it, yes? I've answered your first question simply by coming here, and I intend to make the second question the terms of our trade. Consider my proposal. How about it? <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't be trusted. It would be faster to read you here and extract the answers from you. How spirited of you. This isn't your priority to bring information back to the surface. I'd accept your challenge any time, but you should give this some more thought. Tell us the terms of your deal. That makes sense. I don't think you can beat him right now anyway, Lady Vivian. <laughs> I expected no less from the House of House, uh, the daughter of House Esmeralda. Very good. I have but one request. The large ether act that you call Brionac. Will you give it to me? Unfortunately, we can't do that. Aboard the Ark, we've traveled across many realms and met many people. The Ark is the origin of all the connections we formed, and it has the ability to cross the Dark Current. The futures of everyone on the surface rest on that ship. I may have a few worldly attachments, but even I feel some fondness. I may have few worldly attachments, but even I feel some fondness for our ship. We would never hand it over to the likes of you. I suppose the memento Valerie left behind is still active even now. Her convictions yet to be extinguished. Negotiations have broken down. Very well, then. Allow me to make use of your so-called connections, then. What has he done? Vivian! Didn't say lady. What have you done to Lady Vivian? I have given her a fitting punishment. I don't like that camera angle. What? I've heard that Krosa punished one of your human friends by taking away her vision. It wouldn't be amusing at all to give you the same punishment. You will learn soon enough just what her punishment is. <laughs> Curse you. Your loyalty is admirable. Yet you cannot win. Yet you, s you know you cannot win. Yet you still bear your fangs at me. I regret having to waste my power on a no noble's lowly manservant, though. Don't worry. You'll be dead before you have time to regret it. 
How interesting. You mustn't. Lady Vivian, are you okay? No, Ignace, you mustn't fight him. There's something else you need to do right now. Don't worry, it'll be over soon, so just relax. This is an order. If you die here, who will rely relay the truth to Tiki and the others? <laughs> As things are now, this man is using the surface for his own ends. We finally learned who our true enemy is. It's your job to tell our friends. But retreat while you still can. Please, I'm begging you, Ignace. Whoa, he just stopped her heart. Madam! You truly are wise. You understand your situation well. I doubt you would have failed to realize my true intentions. You know this, and yet you still want to save her. <laughs> now, tuck your tail between your legs and run while you can. If she doesn't receive treatment soon, her life will end. Classic end game. she's gonna die if you don't do a side quest. That's what he said. I swear to you. This will not go unanswered. Humans and demons are, after all, the same creatures. The more you deepen your bonds with each other, the more emotion becomes your greatest weakness. Show me your next move, now that you've seen your friend wounded. Bet you demons are humans that have turned into demons via exposure to uh, dark matter. And they can use sorcery because that also uses dark matter. Is Vivian still unconscious? Her life's in no danger, but she's been infected by some powerful sorcery. I think she'll wake up soon, but I'm here for you. Aw, where's that darn doggy when you need him? He's probably at the Gears Rock portal, right? He's been looking for a way back to Demonia ever since they returned. Does he feel responsible for Vivian getting hurt? I wish he wouldn't beat himself up over it. <laughs> it's not as if we don't empathize. Darn it, that doggy really ticks me off. Hey, Galil, ever, uh, so everyone... Vivian's waking up. What the hell? That was a weird sprout of music. Vivian! Thank goodness. Hey, you, go call that doggy. Uh, me? You know where he is, right? Hurry up and get him. <sighs> there you are. What do you want? Since Vivian has woken up, I thought it might be a good time to make a report. <laughs> no patience, just Vivian woke up. <laughs> Sorry I made you worry, Ignace. How are you feeling, Lady Vivian? I'm feeling fine, thank Ignace, thank you. What about the sorcery that Kobalso used on you? The punishment he gave me does not affect my health, but rather my life. So he's given her a lifespan? Wow, okay. I can tell that very gradually my body will lose its vitality over time. Oh no. This is horrible. Is there some way to undo it? She lives a mortal life. I mean, I guess it's fine. Sorcerer's punishments can only be removed by the person who cast them, or by the death of the caster. Aw, oh, yeah! Easy peasy, then! Let's go! <laughs> Curses. They've hurt not just Azura, but now Vivian, too. I'm very sorry to worry you all, but I'll be okay. It's not a debilitating condition, unlike a wound or an illness. I can fight with you as I always have. Excuse me. But we're so worried about you. Well, that just means we need to go to Demonia and tear that Kowalsa a new one. We don't have a choice. Yeah, and we've got a score to settle with Grosa, too. We need to make him heal Azura's eyes. Final showdown against the demons. I long to test my skills with the bleed once more. We'll go anywhere for Azura and Vivian. Yeah, count me in. Please, wait. Why would you go so far for my mistress's sake? Don't you know that going to Demonia is like offering yourself up to the enemy? Unlike me, you have no obligation to protect my mistress. What? Then let me put it this way, would you help Vivian out of pure obligation? Of course not. That much is obvious, but I'm talking about the fact that you're risking your lives. Kuwaza will be like no enemy you've ever faced. Think hard about it. Wow, you just don't get it, doggy. 
Unlike science, people don't run on pure logic. Instead, of one of the primary emotions that drives humans to action is the urge to help someone else. I've always thought about. I've always thought that you demons care way too much about stuff like class and social order. Just look at this bunch. Excuse me. Galil acts because he feels responsible for Azura's eyes. Also, he's got a crush on her. Zero doesn't want Galil to worry, so he she always tries to be brave. Don't you think it's beautiful that they try to help each other out? Simplicity is a virtue. There's nothing wrong with having a one-track mind like these two. They don't comment? Oh, okay, there you go. I feel like you're mocking me, but I agree with you. Tiggy, are you really only 12 years old? <laughs> Tiggy's manner may be caustic, but her argument is sound. I don't intend to posture, but our desire to help Vivian is most assuredly science. That sounds really shady coming from you, so cut it out. I may be a beast folk, but I, I feel the same way. I want to help Azura and Vivian. <laughs> nice follow-up. Point is, race and all that stuff has nothing to do with it. I think I finally understand why Lady Vivian takes such an interest in humans. Thank you all so much. Well, what's this now? Are you feeling okay, doggy? Yeah, man, just act normal. You're creeping me out. I feel like all the guys in this party are posturing and trying to be one thing, and then the girls are just like, casual as hell. <laughs> I'm also glad to see that humans have been a good influence on you, Ignace. I'm very grateful for everyone's concern. I've decided also. I've also decided that I need to go to Demonia again to learn more of Kowalsa's schemes. I would appreciate your help. So, can we just take a portal there? No, it's very likely that the portal in Lady Vivian's chamber has been destroyed. I've been trying it ever since we returned to the surface, but it's not responding at all. Ah, so how are we going to get there? I have an idea. First, let us go to Blue's Oasis. Blue's Oasis? Why there? We'll have to ask him for the details. Because Blue is one of the original engineers. Mm. Oh yeah, we got four people. Let's go. Let's go. This is the party I usually want, but I bet you modified it again, you punks. Nope, you're perfect. Awesome. So we're all the way out of Blue's Oasis. Yes, let's go visit Blue. Uh, I knew I had a bad feeling about this because we have to go see him. Blue was out last time we came by, though. I'm gonna save for reals. Should be a chapter 35, right? Yeah, the one who knows. We are five chapters away from the end of the game. Oh, she's talking to What's-His-Face. That's why we were playing as Ignace to begin with. <laughs> Right. Hey, buddy. I was wondering what strange group this was, but it was just you, Tiggy. <laughs> I've heard all sorts of peculiar rumors. They all involve you soaring through the skies on a ship. Long time no see, Blue. Not long enough, to be honest. Anyway, it's Vivian here who has business with you. Oh, well, you one of Tiggy's companions. I neglected to introduce myself earlier. I am Vivian Vin Esmeralda of the Demons. Oh, the heir, the heir to House Edmerald. I can't speak still. And what business does a noble demon have with this humble merchant? Please tell us how to reach Demonia, specifically Area 18. There should be a portal. I believe someone of your status has the privilege to use it. We believe it may have been destroyed by Kowalsa, thus we are looking for an alternative route. Kowalsa, it has been some time since I heard that name. So you know Kowalsa after all. That makes you our enemy, then. Just knowing somebody does not make him a bad guy. <coughs> ah! Huh. Kowalsa was a business partner of mine long ago. We no longer have any ties. 
Genius of Truth, believe what you wish. Anyway, I care little for such old tales. Returning to the topic of a route to Demonia, there is one way. Please tell us. Let me see. I is it the big- Oh no, we use all that money! What? We don't have that much money. I'm sorry, but it's a reasonable quote considering the cost. Besides, Kualsa and I are likely to be the only ones who know this route. I've extended the rarity of this information for my price estimate as a service to you. Excluded. Oh. Fine, then I'll just have to throw in the macro rations I've been saving. They're worth more than any sum. <laughs> Hush! Be quiet for a minute. Forget it, Vivian. This scumbag won't tell us no matter how many times you ask. I'm sorry you see it that way. Information is not to be undervalued. In the world of business, information itself is a commodity. We have had a grave miscommunication if you believe that I will simply tell you whatever you want, or that I believe only tangible objects have value. Ah, shut up, you shady con artist. Could we trade something other than money for this information? We had that money before we uh, bought a bunch of stuff. We're confident in our skills. We'll do whatever you need. <laughs> so you intend to bought it with strength of arms rather than currency. I admire your dedication. To be frank, there are four items that I am personally attempting to gather. I want you to bring them to me. Is this acceptable? Oh, jobs like that are right up my alley. Please allow us to take this offer. I see. I look forward to your report then. So what kind of items are you looking for? Kai Kong Rosary, Shu Shui Charm, Lost Shield, and Revolution 7. These are the four items I want. They should be somewhere in the water double dens located in the abyss of the Dark Current. Please use your ship to look for them. Wait, you're sending us to a place swarming with water devils without any specific directions? I ask for your help because I don't know where to begin. Very well, if you need more information, the items are imbued with powerful magic. It is likely that formidable monsters slumber in those nests, drawn to the magical power. Do you understand what I'm saying? You want us to look inside the most dangerous monster nests? You're a real piece of work, you know that. Thank you. Uh, that said, this would be all be for naught if my contractors were to die. Should the task prove too difficult, I will tell you the way to Demonia if you prof proffer the full sum of 50,000 so. Understand, we'd best be off then. Safe travels. Now the issue is we had 50,000. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I want not to ask tries anything shady. We'll just kick his butt. Uh, it's way too hot out here. Give me some water. My skin's drying out. Thanks for that very relevant comment. On that, I think we're going to end today's stream because I do have to... Uh, I think, well, I just think it's a good place to stop, actually. Uh, right at chapter 35. Five chapters left. We're probably going to spend most of the next stream doing the Water Devil Dens. Uh, if there are any... Oh, man. Dark Currents Abyss. There's only four chapters left. Uh, other than that, uh, right before we go, usually we talk about Operation Olive Branch. So I'm going to do exactly that. Operation Olive Branch. You can summon the link from the Twitch chat by typing in exclamation mark OOB. Uh, if you do so, you'll get a link that'll talk... Well, you'll get two links, actually. And uh, it'll lead you to Operation Olive Branch GoFundMe page or Operation Olive Branch's Linktree page. Operation Olive Branch itself is a relief organization slash charity organization, relief slash charity organization that um, uh, seeks to collect funds and evacuate some of the Palestinian folk from, uh, as many as the Palestinian folk from the Gaza Strip at the moment because there is an ongoing genocide there. We've all heard about it by now. It's been going for... Well, the act of it, of, of it has been going for eight months. The th events that led up to it have been going on for much longer. So uh, Israel being a country that has existed for roughly 75 to 80 years as of the end of World War II, uh, they have been given this territory that did not belong to them, did not belong to the people giving it to them, uh, because they wanted it. Uh, and uh, now, uh, f almost 100 years later, they've decided that uh, they're finally going to have an excuse to start uh, just destroying everything there and killing the people that are in the way of them actually just owning the place completely. Uh, historically speaking, the Palestinian folks have been trying to uh, get back their rights and be treated as humans there um, uh, since the inception of Israel and have failed or have been stopped at every corner, every turn. So um, uh, they got to the point where they found that the only solution they could do was to get to be at the resistance fighter uh, part of where things go and unfortunately that means that they provided an excuse for Israel to start bombing all of the Gaza Strip in an ex in what is uh, now known as or what is known by most uh, international law as um, collective punishment so for the actions of one group that Israel has labeled as uh, terrorists Hamas uh, they are now bombing everyone that lives in Palestine. Uh, the word I'm looking for is 
without prejudice? No, very much full of prejudice. So that's not what I'm looking for. There's another expression that says uh, uh, unilaterally, essentially. Everybody there is getting attacked. And so some people want to get out. And if you want to help them get out, a lot of people want to get out. Most people want to get out. Uh, most people don't have a choice but to want to get out because it's literally the choice between um, staying or dying. Uh, so if you'd like to help out, you can click on the GoFundMe link and donate $5 if you have more than $1,000 in your bank account, or $1 if you have less than $1,000 in your bank account, or if you've donated already because I've asked you to, specifically me. Uh, that's money that can go to any family uh, that will need, they'll need to evacuate the location of Gaza and the Gaza Strip and Rafa, because right now it's just not livable, unfortunately. Um, uh, and if you want, if you have any questions that my short blurb or my short spiel about, uh, Operation Olive Branch isn't answered, isn't answering. You can always click on their Linktree link where they have an FAQ, uh, a spreadsheet to tell you where all the money's going, and a whole bunch of other links that'll lead you to um, helping out maybe more specific families. Because donating to the organization is good, but you can also find a specific family you want to donate to in order to help them out. Uh, as an influencer, someone of the platform, you, if you have such a platform, you can also foster a specific family as GoFundMe and get those family, get your 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 platform, spread the word, get that links and donations sent to there. Anything helps, uh, and the more of us that talk about it, the more chances we have of helping as many people as possible. Um, so with that being said, I hope you folks have a good afternoon. We should be back tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Tales of Cecilia 2 and Ada. If not, uh, we'll see you folks tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with some more uh, The Alliance Alive. I think we're getting really close to the end, so I don't know what we're going to do once we do that because we have two games lined up and only one of them I can stream, but I don't want to stream that game before we do Elden Ring. I have decided uh, that the amount of time that we have... I think I'm like I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait before I announce that yeah I think there's a better time to, to wait for that so yeah I hope you folks enjoyed the stream once again peace out folks love you folks free Palestine the whole shebang have a good night afternoon.